Hello, everybody. Defense here, and welcome to another episode from our Techtopia modded Let's Play. Um, I regret to inform you that it is yet again another sad day. Our, I don't know what his bones on top of that. Um, our guard, Rosemorn Ballard, uh, decided to try and be a beast. <laughs> And in the midst of the night, charged across the bridge, fighting pretty much anything she could see. And, uh, well, it didn't end well for her. Um, she ran across the bridge. I saw she was taking damage, and she was on the bridge fighting a couple of guys. And I was like, you know what? It'll be fine. She'll be fine. Um, she finishes those guys. I stop seeing the damage messages. And then I see damage messages again, and I look over, and she's, like, over here. You know what I mean? So, like, there's the bridge. She's, like, over here. And there's just mobs coming in everywhere. Um, and by the time I got over here, she was gone. Uh, which was kind of a bummer. I'm looking down because I'm actually, like, recording this part after we did something. So, I'm just trying to kind of avoid it, if you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah. So, that happened. Um, as I said, it's very sad. I was really bummed about it because they were going to be a solid what I'd consider a freebie uh, nomad, you know, like, because they, they came in, they had a really high intelligence, and they were set and ready to, you know, level up, you know, so we've got a, uh, got a grave for over here, what's the, uh, what's this one, the Ezer Bluet, that was the first flower I picked after I found her dead, not really her dead body, but you know what I mean, so, oh, look, even, even the skies say it's sad, but, uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for showing up nonetheless, even though we did lose a well and true good villager of the town here. Um, but we're going to do a quick time lapse. I'm going to build something that I showed you guys a little bit of at the end of the previous episode. So we're going to uh, roll over into that time lapse there. We're going to get some music going. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the build. Once we're done, I will bring you back and do some more chit chatting. It's nice and dry in here. Oh, you got a little bit of drip in the ceiling, guys. Sorry, guys.
Okay, welcome back, guys. I do hope you did enjoy that little time lapse there. Um, I struggled. <laughs> uh, because I didn't notice that I didn't design this the same the whole way around. So, like, here, you know, it goes in front. Here, it goes in front. But here, it goes on top. So, I messed up. Um, but I really liked the way the roof ended up looking up like that. So, I just kept it like this. Um, kind of went with it. I do want to put smoke coming out of the top of this. So, we'll have to find some, um spider web to do that but uh that's just one of the decorative bits there actually i just thought of a couple other bits we want to get done um we're gonna focus on getting this decorated for now um i need let's grab a couple of those a couple of those i don't like the non oh, actually we'll put some tulips in there tulips are always a good one everybody likes tulips so we'll get some tulips, some uh, oxide daisies, some azure bluets. We're going to make a couple of uh, flower boxes on the side of the building quickly. Uh, just to uh, just to make things look a little nicer. I need, oh, I don't actually have grass. Well, this might be a little harder than I thought because I don't have grass blocks. Well, actually, no, it makes sense to have it as a dirt block. Oh, actually, I need two of those. So grab that. Um, I shut off the weather sounds because I want to let my peeps kind of do their thing, so I don't want to sleep and uh, bother them. So oh, I just remembered it's going to break this. Because mm, once I put it down, you know, if I want to, you know, say I put that there and I go bloop, it turns that to dirt. Mm. All right, we're going to rethink that. Um, ignore that part of this whole thing. We're just going to work on the inside of the building. Then. Yoink. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so I got rid of the weather sounds. I usually like having them on, but nobody wants to deal with that. So let's get the kitchen set up a little bit. As I said, I didn't. This isn't the permanent kitchen, so I really don't mind having um, less going on in here per se. So I just, I just really don't know what I should kind of do in here, you know. Um, I also don't like that the countertops match the wall, so I might change out the wall. Because I used spruce on the ceiling. And that's that. I might find something else for this main middle piece here. Um, I just didn't want to do stone brick, because this whole rest of this building is stone brick. So, I just didn't like that. He also doesn't have a window. Let's give him a window. <laughs> I don't think he's getting a window, guys. Eh, we'll just do a low window right there. Yeah, two block window. And uh, we'll do it like that. I think that'll look nicer than having the uh, fence posts in there. But as I had said at the, la the end of last episode, if you guys have any ideas on things we could try in here, please do let me know. Interior design is not my strong point. So any help would be much appreciated. We're going to need that. Because he's going to need like a wash basin to clean his knives and cutting boards. And where do I want to put it? Where do I want? We'll put it right here. I'll fill it with. Where did I just put my bucket? I definitely just had my bucket in my hand. I probably put it away grabbing something else. Yoink. Boom. But yeah, I've been waiting. Um, I haven't gotten any nomads in about three days. So I was hoping to start off the episode by getting a new anything to be honest <laughs> whoever showed up you know but nothing good sadly but uh everything else has been going swell so um let's see let's see what else can i put in here i i don't know because <laughs> like i could put like uh item frames on the wall and put some tools in them but i don't know how well it's gonna look so, you know what? We're going to leave this building the way it is for now. I am going to make a request that if you guys have any ideas, please do put them down below so that I may borrow them. Um, we'll worry about decorating the outside of the building at that same time, too. I'll probably end up doing that next episode or the episode after. Um, we'll figure that stuff out while we're going. Let's get a quick bit of this in. I'm just going to put a chair there for now. And then actually, this one here will make it look like he's got a little desk in the corner here. Yeah, so we can sit there and use it kind of like a desk. Sweet. Okay, so we've got all that. Ah, look, it stopped raining. Um, What else happened? That's really been it. 
Um, I did some mining personally, got some more stuff going. Um, started lighting up over there. You can see I made another one of the paths. Um, it's funny because it lined up perfectly over to the mines, you know, using the same pattern that I'd used for the pathways everywhere else, um, except for right there. I might keep that path. I might get rid of it. I haven't decided yet because, like, everything else is in, like, a grid, and this is just like, <laughs> we're just going to go this way. So most of it lines up with the grid, which is real nice. My diagonals are same as my straights. I just noticed we missed all right here. And I only have two torches. How many torches is this going to take? One, two. Huh. I just need a torch for right there, but that one covers it. So that'll be fine. But yeah, um, now I get to play the waiting game, guys. So I'm probably going to go design the school whilst they wait. Uh, because I think the school, the school will be really fun. I want to put, where do I want to put the school? I don't want to put it next to the cemetery. Because I'm going to need to expand it because I'm making everything so big. Um... I don't know. I'll have to decide where we're going to put the schoolhouse once once we do that. Uh, well, once I design it, that'll decide how much space I need. But yeah, let me... Uh, I'm going to go off, do a bit of designing. I'm going to play for a bit and try and get more... Just hope for more nomads. And then uh, once nomads actually show up, we'll uh, be able to get started on some more stuff. So let me do that, and I will bring you guys right on back. Welcome back everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, um I've recorded a bunch of stuff that I ended up deleting. Uh we went to the Nether. It was very boring, so I got rid of that. Um and yeah, so we've been waiting around for a while for nomads to show up. Uh it's probably we get like one here and there, but like their intelligence is they they're they're stupid. You know. <laughs> so, we are here and I need to decide. So I have three nomads here. Um, one of them is really like decent intelligence, and I really, I I would love to get a school going, but a school is gonna be like f almost fifty emeralds, I think. Cause yeah, it's forty-two just for the building. So since I don't have that, what I want to do, I am seriously considering another rancher. Um, <laughs> I don't need it. Uh, you know, we're, hmm. <laughs> there's so many things I want to do, but they're not going to be something I can do right now. You know, like this person, I'm using them, definitely, wherever they just want. That person right there. Um, and then I have, like, low intelligence, but, like, a level 12 guard. And I don't need a guard right now. I can handle all of the protection for now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hate this, but uh, we're, we're, we're going to do this. I'm going to grab that. And I am going to grab this. I'm going to hate myself for this, but I want to do this. Um, hey, would you stop walking into me? Are you the smart person? Yeah, you are the smart person. Damn it. I don't want you to be the smart person. All right. So um, I actually already have one of these, <clears throat> which I forgot. That's one of the things I, rec I didn't record, I guess. I went back through and I couldn't find anything on it. Um, I have gone through and we brought over the cows. I think I remember talking about the cows, but I can't remember. Um, and then I pulled a couple of sheep from over there and they've been, they've been doing pretty good in here. I've bred up a couple of sheep. And as you can see by these two glowy dudes here, uh, they have been breeding up a couple of sheep. So we're hoping that goes, we only have three cows. They're taking forever to breed, which, you know, that only happens every time they get fed. So... We're going to be stuck on that. And you know what? Since we have the, the emeralds, um, I don't currently have the... Oh, actually, no. I need to buy a house before I can add anybody else. <laughs> I can't win. Um, I want to I wanna grow, but I can't because, yeah, even after we buy stuff, we can't. Okay. So that'll be fine. Um, we're going to set up a quick chicken coop. I don't really know what to do for the designs on these areas over here. You know, like, they look cool. They got some stuff going on. I just can't figure out how to do this and make it look nice. You know what I mean? Because, like, obviously, sheep and cows, normally, you know, a barn and a pasture. But, like, I don't know how I'd make that work using these mechanics. Because you can't, you have to use this, uh, a door doesn't work. So, I don't really know what to do with that. And, you know, the chicken coop. Eh, I don't really know. 
So I'm going to build it pretty much exactly like what we already have. Um, and if you guys do have any ideas on what we can do differently, it would be very much appreciated if you let me know. The um, Just the design aspect of it is just, I don't know what to do. You know, I've never really had to build a functional... Um, what do you call it? A functional chicken coop. You know, because I, like, I've built chicken coops in Minecraft before, but they weren't built like this. I'm just going to take a quick look here, see if we can get any good. No. Right. I don't want to sell any of the wheat right now because we have a we have a good... Oh, I forgot those slabs. And I'll grab them in a minute. Okay, right, so I can't remember the math. There is a formula for this. Um, I don't remember it off the top of my head. Oh, we have some breeding going on. Yeah, I hear a little baby. Oh, there's another little baby over there. Yeah. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm personally going to start breeding the cows just to get a few more of them going. And then uh, they'll be able to go from there. But what I want to do is one, two, three. Oh, actually, this isn't going to work because it's on the corner. Hmm. Oh, do I want to do this? Because I was just going to extend it out. But because of the way this is, you know what I mean? It does come right up to the edge here. Hmm, where do I want to, you know, um, I don't know where I want to put a chicken coop. I already have my own little chicken farm here, just to, uh, supplement some food for ourselves, but I've got that one over there dropping eggs, so we'll be good there. But, what I think, you know what, let's just put it right here. Because it's one back. So, I think, I think we'll do it here, yeah, we'll just do it here. One, two, three. But yeah, it's a pretty standard design. I'm not going to make this as big. Um, so I think we're just going to go boom, boom, boom. Um, and then... Oh, I just forgot we don't have dirt back here. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I've been... I've honestly been doing a ton of grinding um, between the clips. As I said, the stuff that's been recorded has been removed. Uh, just because it wasn't very entertaining in my opinion, so I got rid of it. Um, but, hopefully, so that's going to go there. Yeah, we'll just go like this. One, two, three, blank. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so that'll all get fixed up all nice and fancy. Like, they'll be able to get some stuff going here. Boom. And, um, eh, this might be a little bit shorter. But if I sit here and try and get stuff done to finish out what I wanted to do for this episode, this episode is not going out to the end of the week. And I really want to get it out to you guys now because you guys seem to really be enjoying it. So I want to make sure you guys can get as much as you can. And uh, we'll just have to uh, do some more work for the next episode. So, huzzah! Um, I think I, I can't remember if it was this video or the previous video where I mentioned it. Um, I am going to be doing a bit of pre-recording. I am going away on vacation next week. So after this, I'm going to just kind of grind out a couple of episodes that you guys will see while I'm on vacation. So uh, let me know what you guys think of this one. And if you have any ideas for the next episode, uh, just so I can have some ideas for uh, that episode, you know, so um with that you know as i said this is going to be the end um if you guys are enjoying it please please do let me know by hitting the like button and uh if you want to see more feel free to subscribe uh links for this pack their creator and their personal like uh their playlist and their channel are down in the description below so please do uh make sure to check that stuff out tango has put in a lot of solid work on this and uh i'm sure you guys would enjoy playing it if you aren't already playing it so hey I already said all the thank yous and this and that, so I am just going to say this one. Thank you for stopping in. I hope you all have a nice night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is. Wherever you are, this is my defense. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.